what happens traditionally, and we touched upon in various other sections on this, but traditionally we collect wastewater in sewer pipes. Some of them are smaller, some of them are a little bit larger, but this is what we have been doing for traditionally. And sometimes, you know, the sewer, sewage is actually combined with uh, storm water, and if the pipes are big enough, they actually wash cars down there. So, but the, the, at the end of the pipe is usually outside the cities, and uh, the state of the art today are these large centralized treatment plants that look like this and uh, smell like that. With the advantages and opportunities that complex ecologies as applied to wastewater treatment bring us, a whole new approach is, uh, is possible. Um, this pair of uh, graphs illustrate the, um, the two approaches. You know, traditional approaches is, is to take, this is a coastal city in Turkey where a large sewer main was planned to collect all the sewer pipes that come down in various valleys, collect them, take it outside the city and build a huge wastewater treatment plant. Actually, this was going to go be implemented just very recently. The once the city has encountered the, the, the option of a totally different approach where smaller treatment plants can be built in the middle of the city, uh, all of the sudden, you know, the, they were able to eliminate the need for this large collection pipe, as well as the need to acquire a large stretch of land. And instead of they found various sites that the city owns, much smaller ones, in the city, and thereby just by saving on the, uh, the cost of the collection, the infrastructure, you they can pay for half the investment cost of the treatment plant itself. This is a vast uh, savings opportunity you, on the capital expenditure size. But just think about that also in increasingly around the world, water scarcity is becoming a problem. So in those countries, which includes India and China and a lot of other uh, South Asian countries, uh, once you treated the water outside the city, you will have to pump it back because there's no other way to get sufficient water resources. So if you're able to do that close to where the waste is generated, obviously there's, uh, there are enormous savings. So a few examples on this one. This treatment plant is in uh, China. And as you can see, it's near uh, a, uh, a residential tower middle of the city. The next picture we'll, we'll see from the other side of the street. Again, the, uh, the treatment plant is on the upper left hand side, uh, right hand side. And you see there's an office building across the street and restaurants on the first floor. And uh, on the back side of the uh, treatment plant, there's a basketball court, complete integration. And as we, in the next slides, we move, we walk into the treatment plant, you can see what's, uh, what, what you would find inside. Or the example uh, near uh, in the Loire Valley in France, for example, a totally different uh, design philosophy, different uh, levels of expectations in terms of interior design, colors, and all of that. Once, once the stigma of uh, waste and the repulsion element is removed, a whole new dimension uh, opens up. Or yet another example near an ancient castle in southwestern France. Uh, what you can see, this particular plant under commissioning here. And on the next, plant, next picture, you see that right next to it here, this is a, a food factory. This is a sausage factory. So right next to a, a totally different function that would be normally you know, kept hundreds and hundreds of meters uh, far from each other. This one is again in China, and you see the, uh, the treatment plant here in the middle of the picture. Uh, completely integrated into both uh, residential and commercial areas. You can see the interior. This is very close to when the commissioning started. This is a night shot. Uh, and uh, you can see in the interiors and the, uh, 
proximity of the residential area immediately next to the, um, the, um, the greenhouse. And with that, I would like to share with you another vision, as it were. With the water scarcity and urban development, we believe that the need to place the treatment plants in even more dense urban environments will arise and is arising already today. So we picked for a study, for a, for a design study, we picked a, a busy city, Manhattan, and uh, we, for some reason, uh, we happened to pick a, a site on the corner of 28th and 8th Avenue. This is near, near um, Madison Square Garden. And we took an existing design that we have for 20,000 cubic meters. So 20,000 cubic meters in the US would serve, the amount of water that people use there would serve about 100,000 people, right, roughly, okay? So what does it look like, a, hundred, uh, a treatment plant for 100,000 people in the middle of Manhattan, what does it look like? So this is what we found. So this is the, 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 the lot now, it's a parking lot actually. So once we start to apply the design, it becomes very clear that you have to think in, in multiple levels. So we put in uh, two trains. Uh, the, the first level is below the, uh, so the top of the first reactor uh, train is uh, equal with the, with the street level. And then as you move up, you, you raise higher and higher uh, uh, levels. Actually, we were thinking in three stories. Obviously, the story height is like, each, each story is like at least eight, if not 10 meters. And you have all the mechanical equipment, uh, the mechanical components uh, incorporated just as we, you would in any large uh, real estate development in the middle of the city. You have a lot of stuff in these buildings that you don't, is not visible to you, like HVAC equipment and uh, garbage handling and a lot of other stuff. So let's just take a look. Once you do that, uh, and you build in the middle of the city, you would have uh, access there, you would uh, have a control room and exhibition area, uh, a viewing area, observation desk if, if you want with an elevator. And on the next slide, you can see how it would look like when you uh, apply all the planting, as well as from the other side, you see how the, uh, the reactors are staggered and how you can walk up on a ramp all the way up to the uh, observation desk if you choose not to take the elevator. And uh, obviously it would get a, uh, a greenhouse-like custom-made enclosure. And uh, this is what it looks like when it's finished and it really becomes an indoor park uh, in a dense urban area.